The risk of developing diabetes has been shown to significantly increase after an episode of COVID-19 infection. Diabetes, therefore, now is considered one of the many long-haul complications we need to look for in every patient we see who suffered from COVID-19 infections. And this is more important specifically among our patients with diabetes who develop COVID-19 infection. To know more, let's watch this. Data from several patients who were admitted at the Veterans Health Administration system that were diagnosed with COVID-19 within the past year found that people who recovered from COVID-19 were 40% more likely to develop new onset diabetes compared to those who weren't infected. Considering that the World Health Organization estimates that there are right now more than 464 million cases of COVID-19. So even a small percentage of those people developing long-term complications like diabetes would be pretty significant. It is estimated that the increased risk translates to at least 1% of people who have had COVID-19 do develop diabetes who otherwise wouldn't be resulting in potentially millions of new cases worldwide. New evidence also is now showing an increased post-COVID-19 risk of a list of cardiometabolic conditions aside from diabetes, including higher risk of developing heart problems, including stroke and heart attack, and post-COVID-19 declines in kidney function or kidney damage. The critical part is that these abnormalities are not seen right away after the infection, but rather may manifest later, as much as six months or later after the infection, when compared to patients who hadn't had COVID-19. So normally when we talk about, as I've discussed in my previous videos, regarding long-term COVID-19 symptoms or long COVID hold, we're talking about cognitive problems, easy forgetfulness, mental issues, or generalized fatigue. But there appears to be multiple kinds of long COVID, and some people may manifest cardiometabolic problems post-COVID infection. So if you look at the data on a national scale, it is clear that diabetes do develop even in people who have no risk factors, or very little risk factors, such that a new diagnosis is happening post-COVID, even in young adults with a healthy weight and no previous history of high blood glucose. So this increased risk of diabetes diagnosis, in fact, were not seen only in adults, but also post-COVID infection among affected children. Furthermore, a similar association was also noticed in a German study when German researchers found that people who had COVID-19 had a roughly 28% increased risk of new onset type 2 diabetes compared to those who had acute respiratory infection that wasn't COVID-19. And recently in the February JAMA Network Open Study, it also found that people who tested positive for COVID-19 had roughly two times greater risk of developing diabetes one to five months after their infection compared to those who tested negative for the virus. It is estimated that about 7% of hospitalized adults with COVID-19 do receive the new diagnosis of diabetes within five months, compared to 3.6% of adults without COVID-19. Now, one suspect I have is that when a patient is admitted for COVID-19 infection, that steroids is actually a mainstay for severe COVID patients and in itself can temporarily increase blood sugar and might also trigger diabetes in patients at risk of the condition. In reality, 
We really don't know why a COVID-19 infection might be leading to new cases of diabetes, but in theory, the virus might damage the pancreas' ability to secrete insulin, the hormone that regulates blood glucose, such as lab studies found that the virus selectively target beta cells in the pancreas and reduce their viability quickly and reduce their ability to secrete insulin in less than a day. And this is therefore one of the key issues I am against those people who are not very vigilant in terms of COVID-19, because anyway, COVID-19 infection secondary to Omicron is mild, because we really don't know the long haul complications associated even with mild Omicron disease. One other theory is that a strong immune response to COVID-19 do generate an inflammatory cascade that results in low-grade inflammation, which therefore can interfere with insulin secretion and sensitivity. So in short, if you got infected with COVID-19 and seems pretty okay, my suggestion is please continue to monitor your symptoms for long COVID syndrome. Remember, check not only of mental cognitive problems, but also cardiometabolic parameters, like checking your blood sugar for any sudden upswing not seen before. Remember that diabetes can occur without you knowing it as new onset diabetes do remain asymptomatic for quite some time, even for years. And therefore, early diagnosis is key here because this is a condition that can easily be treated and hopefully easily be reversed and therefore complication prevented. For those also who have diabetes and who developed COVID-19 infection, specifically Omicron infection, although mild, it is also best that you re-evaluate with your physician, your control, and determine if there has been a sudden deterioration of your control post-COVID, because this may be related to COVID-19 infection affecting the beta cells. So as a result, if this is diagnosed early or determined early, we can still right away address to prevent further deterioration of control. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.